if the population of a village of 10,000 people increases by 10% every year for two years and then decreases by 10% every year for the next two years, what would be the population of the village four years from now? Four years from now. Just like the previous problem we did, there I used the formula. Here, I am not using any formula and explaining you. In the Mundu problem, the formula uses Chippeno. If you formula in the formula, common sense to check the problem. If you have the problem, 10,000 people are there in the village. First year law increase. First year increase up top arrow mark top arrow mark increases first year 10 percent up 10 percent anagane the log zero this end ante thousand out in there so thousand in the calpe say ten thousand plus thousand ten thousand in the 11,000 out. And the first year coach is 11,000 in the population. Along the second year could increase in the 10 percent. I think our 10 percent deal low this co valley. Down low this co valley and take zero thesis and take zero thesis 1100. So, Kabati Dani Kalu people 11,000. Plus, if you remove one zero, it is eleven hundred. Kalipeste zero zero, and this is one. This is two. This is one. So it is twelve thousand one hundred. I think. If the second year ending kala, it is. 12,100 in Just check it out, please. Just check it out. We are using only common sense here. Not any formula. Perigindi. Janaba perigindi. Covered perigindi janaba padi vela in chakarigal in the pandand vela on the kavel in the. And from 10,000 it is increased to 12,100. 10% means it is common sense that remove one zero. That's all. Now, 30 rochita putki. Decrease in the downward arrow, please. Downward arrow decreased. That is one percentage formula. Is the 90 by 100 and is the increase rate in the 110 by 100 and rasta. If it is increased, we write it as 110 by 100. If it is decreased, we write it as 90 by 100. So, very much similar to this one 10 percent means remove one zero and subtract it because it is decreased. 1,21,000 minus 1,2,1,0. Subtracting because it is decreased. If you subtract it, 0. This is 10 minus 1, 9. This is uh, 9 minus 2, 7. And... Uh, 12,000. Just a moment, please. Here it is. It is to be corrected, the subtraction. Just a moment. This is 12,100 minus what is 10% of it? 1210. 0, 1, 2, 1, 0. Is equal to subtract it. 0, and it is 10 minus 1, 9, and it is uh, 10 minus 2, 8, just say this, eight here, and again, it is 
zero. So 10,890 is the population at the end of third year. Now if you take fourth year, which we need here, which we need, it is also down by 10%, that is decreased by 10%. So total population at the end of third year is 10,890 minus 10% 10 of it, remove zero, that's all, 1089. Subtract it, please. Subtract it. 10 minus 9, 1. And it is 8 minus 8, 0. And it is 7. And it is 9. So, 9, 8, 0, 1. Let us check the subtraction here. 10 minus 9, uh, 1. 8 minus 8 is 0 and 8 here. This is 8. So 9801. So it is all common sense. When 10% is given, take the advantage of it. Take the advantage of it and take the increase percent and add to the original value. That is the first year, the original, original population 10,000 after first year. Adding 10%, it is 11,000. And again, 10% of it is 1,100 added to the first year population at the end. It becomes 12,100. And again, 10% decrease, subtracted. Again, 10% decrease, subtracted. What is the difference between that and this? There you have to make use of the formula wherein you will get the answer directly. Like what? 10% increase. 10% increase. We did this problem. But let me remind this, 10% increase means 110 divided by 100 into original population 10,000. You will get the total number directly, no additions like this. That is an advantage of the formula. Because I have to tell you both, I am explaining that. Now 11,000, you have got it directly. Next, second step, again increase, no? 110 by 100 into, now it is 11,000 total population. So what is that happening here? 11, 11 is 121. So it has become 12,100 here. Again, decrease, no, 10%. Now you have to write 90 by 100 into 12,100. These zeros will be getting cancelled. And you have to write 121 into 9, which becomes 10,890. This is straight formula. Again, 10% reduce, so 90 by 100 into 10,890. If you simplify this, you will get 9801. This is the second method. That is the first method with all common sense. In the second method, we use the mathematical formula. In the first method, we just applied the common sense.